In November 2025, during the Dubai Air Show, the Radio Electronic Technologies Company introduced the newest airborne radar system designated as Arbalet AM. Designed for both combat helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft, the system signifies not just a sophisticated improvement, but a major advancement in radar technology. Its debut in Dubai marked a pivotal occasion, illustrating Russia's commitment to presenting a more sophisticated, intelligent, and highly resilient airborne radar to the international market. The key improvement in Arbalet AM is the introduction of an active electronically scanned array antenna. This form of antenna greatly enhances the radar's stealth capabilities. It reduces the chances of enemy sensors detecting the radar's signals and allows the system to operate effectively in a complicated electronic warfare environment. Carefully directed, electronically controlled beams and advanced emission control methods allow the radar to remain minimally detectable. Another vital component is the implementation of low probability of intercept technology in the radar. This allows the radar to function with exceptionally low detectability, causing its signals to blend with background noise and evade hostile receivers. Consequently, hostile forces face significant challenges in detecting or targeting the platform due to its radar emissions. This covert operational profile offers a major advantage when operating near contested regions or under active adversary electronic monitoring. A new and crucial feature of the Arbalet AM is its ability to control unmanned aerial vehicles using a specially focused active electronically scanned array beam. This narrow directional channel offers a highly noise-resistant communication link even under severe interference conditions. In simple terms, the helicopter or aircraft equipped with the Arbalet AM acts as a control center, guiding drones for tasks such as reconnaissance, strike missions, or target identification. This greatly expands the operational capabilities of the crewed aircraft. Artificial intelligence algorithms are integral to the radar's functionality. They assist in more precise classification of detected objects, differentiating among air, ground, and surface targets. This greatly reduces the time required for pilots to analyze the tactical environment and make decisions during flight. By filtering out false returns and enhancing the clarity of radar tracks, the artificial intelligence module significantly reduces pilot workload in demanding combat conditions. Western sources indicate that the Arbalet AM may already be installed on the upgraded KA-52M attack helicopter a platform that has itself undergone extensive modernization. The earlier K-52 used the Arbalet 52 radar with mechanical scanning. Although reliable, the older radar had limitations in detection range, resistance to interference, and target classification accuracy. Reports indicate that the KA-52M now uses a new active electronically scanned array radar that performs between 1.5 and 2 times better in multiple areas compared to the older mechanical system. The move to an active electronically scanned array design aligns with the features planned for the Arbalet AM, including drone control and advanced electronic countermeasure capabilities. Although there is no official confirmation that the Arbalet AM has been installed on the KA-52M, the radar's characteristics align closely with the technological direction of the upgraded helicopter. So, how will the Arbalet AM radar transform the future of helicopter warfare? The deployment of the Arbalet AM airborne radar system marks an important step in the technological development of Russian military aviation. Designed for modern attack helicopters and possibly light strike aircraft, it merges advanced radar technology artificial intelligence, and stealth improvements into a single, versatile combat sensor. This makes the Arbalet AM more than just a regular upgrade. It could significantly reshape how helicopters operate, survive, and engage in today's dangerous combat environments. Modern helicopter warfare increasingly revolves around information dominance. Helicopters are now expected to detect threats rapidly, identify them accurately, and share this information seamlessly with friendly forces. 
older mechanically scanned radars lack the speed and flexibility needed for modern missions. The Arbola AM overcomes these limitations. Its active phased array allows quick beam steering, multiple operating modes, and the ability to track several ground and air targets simultaneously. A helicopter equipped with this system becomes a powerful sensor platform capable of independently detecting threats and assessing situations in real time. Its ability to detect targets at long range, even under heavy interference, gives pilots a major advantage in contested electronic warfare environments. Perhaps the most important feature is its low probability of intercept capability. This drastically reduces the likelihood that enemy sensors will detect radar emissions. Unlike older systems, where activating the radar could reveal the helicopter's position, the Arbalet AM allows for prolonged reconnaissance missions with minimal risk of exposure. This increases survivability, allows earlier target engagement, and supports safer standoff operations near hostile air defenses. The battlefield is becoming increasingly crowded with drones, armored vehicles, air defense systems, low-flying aircraft, and decoys. Pilots must identify friendly, hostile, and irrelevant targets within seconds. This creates immense cognitive pressure. Artificial intelligence integrated into the Arbalet AM reduces this burden. The system automatically classifies and prioritizes detected targets with greater accuracy than traditional radars. This reduces decision-making time and decreases the risk of misidentification. It also improves missile launch safety and accuracy, reduces exposure, and enhances mission success rates. One of the most revolutionary features is drone control through a focused, active, electronically scanned array beam. This transforms helicopters into airborne command centers. They can receive real-time reconnaissance data without exposing themselves to direct threats. A single helicopter can coordinate multiple drones, forming a distributed strike formation. As air defense systems grow more sophisticated, helicopter survivability depends on long-range engagement. The Arbalet AM provides long-distance detection and tracking, enabling precision strikes from beyond the reach of enemy defenses. This matches global trends, where precision, standoff warfare is becoming standard. Helicopters equipped with Arbalet AM also integrate seamlessly with digital battlefield networks. The radar shares situational data with drones, ground units, artillery, and other aircraft. Faster information flow can shape the outcome of entire operations. So what is the operational impact in future conflicts? Low probability of intercept operation enhances survivability. Improved identification and long-range detection enhance lethality. Drone control expands mission flexibility. Network integration strengthens coordination. Now the questions and uncertainties. The biggest question concerns the radar's actual deployment status. There is no official confirmation, creating uncertainty about how widely the system is being used. Technical details, such as detection range, tracking limits, power output, and number of beams have not been fully disclosed. Without this information, comparing Arbalet AM to international systems remains difficult. Another uncertainty is drone control. The feature is revolutionary, but practical limitations remain unknown. Details about interference resistance, encryption strength, and anti-jamming capability are not public. Questions also remain about reliability and ease of maintenance, especially given the harsh environments where helicopters operate. In final remarks, the Arbalet AM airborne radar system represents a major step forward for Russian military aviation. With its active electronically scanned array design, low probability of intercept capability, Artificial intelligence-powered identification and secure drone control link, it provides a next-generation combat advantage. If widely deployed on helicopters like the K-52M and future platforms, it could significantly enhance operational capability, especially in environments saturated with electronic warfare and jamming. Although technical uncertainties remain, 
the Dubai debut signals Russia's commitment to advanced covert radar system. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us.